Hey guys, Ty here, and in this video, I am going to go over how to use a USB thumb drive with your Quest. This also works on like a portable hard drive. So if you wanna plug one of these guys in and watch content that you've got on external storage, you can, or you could just grab a movie, move it over to your headset, watch it, delete it when you're done, and then you're not occupying a ton of space on the Quest. This is actually really easy to set up and do, so let's jump into it. Tyco Tech, Tech Reviews and Tutorials. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need uh, is a bit of hardware, and you're gonna need a USB-C OTG drive, uh, OTG adapter, I'm sorry. These are cheap. You might have already gotten one with a cell phone. I will provide a link down to uh, some Amazon listings below, an affiliate link will help the channel, uh, but they're cheap. Like you can get a couple of them for like less than 10 bucks. Uh, and they can come in handy on phones and other devices too. So you're going to need uh, your USB-C OTG. OTG stands for on the go, in case you were wondering. And then you're going to need a drive. Um, you do need to format the drive to FAT32. It's the only file system that the Quest recognizes natively. There's a workaround for NTFS and EXFAT. It's a little bit more complicated. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to do another video on that, and I will. Uh, but we're just gonna keep this simple. So easiest way to format this, plug it into your USB OTG adapter, plug it into your headset. Your headset's gonna say, hey, this needs to be reformatted. If it's not FAT32, just click OK, and it'll come back saying, are you sure? Click yes, and you'll see the progress bar. Boom, takes about 10 seconds, and now it's formatted FAT32. You can just plug this into your computer now and transfer over files. The only real drawback to the FAT32 file system is that you can't put files larger than four gigabytes on it. So you are going to make sure that if you rip movies or however you get them, uh, that they're less than four gigabytes in size, which in most cases you're gonna get pretty high quality stuff on a two, two and a half hour movie, well under four gigs. So it shouldn't be a problem for most people. We do need a player in the headset you're going to want to get the samsung vr player it's the only one that will actually play the media off of the hard drive or the thumb drive in the headset if you want to plug it in and actually watch it right off of the thumb drive or the hard drive you need to get the samsung vr player next thing we're going to need is we're going to need to side load Total Commander, which is a file explorer. It's free, I will provide a link down below. Uh, if you've never sideloaded anything, it's pretty easy to do. You are going to need to put your headset into developer mode. Uh, I've done a tutorial on it. The video itself is literally like three minutes long. It takes like 90 seconds to actually enable developer mode. Like seriously, it's super quick and easy to do. So watch that. Enable developer mode on your headset. Uh, you're going to download SideQuest, which is just a program on your PC. Works on Mac and Linux as well. And that's how we're going to install Total Commander onto your headset there. Uh, I'll provide a link to the SideQuest download page there. Just make sure you select the version that's appropriate for your OS. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up SideQuest right here. So we'll go ahead and throw up a, a capture screen of that. And uh, here we go. So I've got Total Commander right here. I'm just going to drag this over and boom, SideQuest is going to install it. We can click on tasks and see it's installing right now. When you plug your Quest into the PC, if you've never done this before, you may get a pop-up inside the headset asking for permission to connect to the PC. And then bam, we're done. So Total Commander is now installed in the headset. We'll go ahead and plug in the thumb drive in the USB drive. And uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this. All right, so let's pop this on right here and uh, reorient the screen right here. So we're gonna find Total Commander under TV. And so this is just Oculus TV. It'll load up, you're gonna scroll to the bottom and you're gonna scroll over until you see Total Commander and it will have the old school floppy disk in its icon. Uh, and here we go. And at the very top, you're gonna see your thumb drive right there. So we got the Samsung USB thumb drive. I've got Avengers Endgame in 3D ripped and we're just gonna go ahead and click on it. Now, 
This is the key part. If you want to stream it right from the drive and you don't want to transfer it over, you're going to need Samsung VR and it will probably be a separate app down here. You're just going to click it. It will open it up in Samsung VR like I'm going to show you in a second. But the next time you come back, it will be here at the very top and it will give you the option of open this type of file just once or open it always. Click just once. Always click just once. Uh, it's the only way it works. Otherwise, it tries to open up Samsung VR in uh, side of Oculus TV, and uh, that that is it just doesn't work. All right, so here we've got Samsung VR, and I've got like one of my this cotton mask is coming off. I need to fix that. All right, and then bam, here we go. Just click the screen, and you can change what type of video it is. So we're going to go from a 2D to a 3D click away. There it is. You can up or down with the thumbstick to zoom in or zoom out. Uh, and like any other Oculus app, just long press Oculus if you want to reorient it somewhere. Um, the big drawback to this player is that you can't play it up or down. So it's always just smack dab in front of you. Now let's back out of this video. And, and Samsung VR player actually plays more types of videos than any other player. So if it's like a weird 360 format, it will play. Uh, but let's go ahead and back out of that. Now I'm gonna show you how if you want to just move it over, uh, you don't wanna play it from the drive itself. So we're just going to long press, go down here, click on copy to clipboard, let's go home, let's go to internal storage. And here you can just stick it wherever you want. I'm gonna say movies. Now a weird glitch with Total Commander is you have to have something in the folder to click on. Uh, so just make sure you already have a movie or even just any sort of file that you've transferred over uh, when you've plugged in your headset to your movies folder uh, so that you can long press on it because otherwise this menu doesn't pop up. If I click in an empty area, it won't pop up. And then you're just gonna click uh, paste here and boom, I've already got this movie here, so it's gonna ask me if I wanna overwrite it or not, but if you don't, it will just start to write it into your movies folder. And then you can use like any player you want. Uh, Skybox is by far my favorite. And then just open up Skybox, and boom, it'll just show up under your movie options. So super, super simple. So yeah, that's that. If you guys have questions, ask in the comments below. Uh, be sure to hit the like button. That really helps the channel. Hit the subscribe button if you aren't already. Smash that bell button to get notified when I do these. Uh, yeah, because you want to know when these new videos come out. I got some good stuff. And uh, that is that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.